I thought earlier that federal government said that uh, it wasn't because uh, Buhari's uh, tweet was uh, deactivated or his account deactivated. That was why there was a ban on Twitter in Nigeria. Uh, and, you know, we... I never thought, uh, because when Lai Muhammad was saying that, uh, it wasn't because uh, the president's uh, tweet was deleted, that it was because uh, the use of Twitter was undermining the unity and peace of Nigeria. And uh, that is why they feel they have to deactivate uh, or they have to ban Twitter from Nigeria. But unfortunately, I can tell you that is not the reason. They have an ulterior uh, motive and it has really shown because now again, they are saying that uh, Twitter must show remorse before they suspend any uh, ban from it in Nigeria. I'm so shocked that you were the same people who said uh, Twitter, you did not uh, ban Twitter from Nigeria because uh, because the president's tweet was deleted. You said it was banned because it un undermined the peace and unity of the country. And now you are telling us that until Twitter shows remorse, that is when there's going to be a lift of the ban in Nigeria. Like I'm so ashamed of these guys. I'm terribly ashamed of them. It obviously shows that they actually uh, banned Twitter in Nigeria just because of the president. And you know what this does? This is it's heating up the polity in the country. And you know what that could mean? They are the ones saying that uh, some group of people are about or are causing anarchy in the country. And they in government are the real cause of anarchy or bringing about anarchy in this present day Nigeria. It is so unfortunate. But anyway, guys, I'll bring you more details because, of course, there was a lot that was said right here. But please ensure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell. Ensure you like and also share this video. Okay, guys, without further ado, without wasting much time, let us get right into the details of this report. As it says that uh, suspension to remain indefinitely until Twitter shows remorse, says federal government. The suspension of the operation of American microblogging company Twitter in Nigeria by the federal government is to remain indefinitely until the company shows remorse. A top government official told us yesterday, according to him, since the suspension of Twitter's operation in Nigeria last Friday, the company has not reached out to the federal government for dialogue. However, the House of Representatives has worded into the dispute as it mandated its, com its committees on communications, justice, information and culture, and national security and intelligence to investigate the circumstances leading to the suspension of operations of Twitter in Nigeria and the legality of the action. It also summoned the Minister of Information and Culture, Alhaji Lai Mohammed, to shed light on the matter. But despite the suspension and the order by the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abubakar Malami San, to persecute violators of the suspension direct directive, many prominent Nigerians and some organizations have remained active on the microblogging site. Notwithstanding his order, Malami yesterday logged onto Twitter using virtual private network VPN to bypass the blockade by telecoms companies that have blocked access to the site to deactivate his account. It was also learned that, contrary to the impression given to the United States Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, the Twitter was already holding talks with the federal government and the source said no discussion was ongoing. Bert Leonard had led heads of the United Kingdom, Canada and European Union and Ireland missions to a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Geoffrey Onyama, on Monday in Abuja, where she said she was glad to learn that Twitter was negotiating with the Nigerian government. It was, however, but the source said, as we speak, there has been no communication between Twitter and the federal government. And until the company does the needful, its operation will remain suspended indefinitely. The source said the federal government suspended Twitter because it had persistently made its platform available for the propagation of activities of persons who want to destabilize the country. He said when the federal government complained, the tweeter said the propagandist had not violated its rules. 
For instance, the federal government approached Twitter to remove a tweet by Unam Dikanu, but the company responded that the material did not offend its rule, she said. The, he stated that even after that, Kanu used Twitter to ask his followers to kill Nigerian soldiers and police personnel, and they obeyed. He added, if that is not offensive, what is? According to him, over-the-top OTT companies operate in Nigeria without without registering with the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, and paying tax on the billions they make in the country. This, he said, would no longer happen as henceforth the OTTs should would now have to register as Nigerian companies and would be expected to comply with the terms of their registration when the, with the NCC. Any one of them that is not registered would not be allowed to operate. Anyone that abuses the terms of its registration would have its license withdrawn, he added. The House of Representatives has mandated its various committees to probe the circumstances of the decisions by the federal government to suspend the operations of Twitter in Nigeria and the legality of the suspension. The House also summoned the Minister of Information and Culture, al Haji Lai Mohammed, to appear before it and explain the reasons for the action. The directives were contained in an address delivered by Speaker Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila at the resumption of plenary yesterday. Bajabi Amila said the lawmakers were aware that the suspension of Twitter had generated a fierce debate, adding that the House has since the announcement been inundated with comment about the decision, requests for intervention and criticism. He stated that the House recognized that Twitter, like other social media networks, is an important tool for communication and commerce in Nigeria, particularly among the young generations who have used these networks for enterprise and innovation. He, however, said the House also recognized that as social media has been a tool for good, it could also be a tool for bad actors. Hence, the government has a legitimate interest in ensuring that these platforms are not used to commit vile actions against individuals and the state. According to him, according to him it's, it's proper role of the legislature in circumstances like this to unravel the interest until they develop an understanding of why the of the why and the how of executive decisions. But Jabia Miller added that the legislature must ensure that regulatory and enforcement actions by the government are in accordance with the laws due to process followed and outcomes of regulatory decisions do not result in adverse consequence for the country and its people. He gave the committees 10 days to conclude the assignment and report back to the House for further legislative actions. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Drop a comment. Give this video a thumbs up and as well, like and share this video. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.